This young man has been accused of killing somebody that we have talked about on this page. The story is going viral, but a lot of people don't even know that this is deeper than it seems. And we are going to talk about it right now. So fasten your seatbelt, like and share this video, and let's get into it. So the young man is called Emmanuel Uwona. He's said to be notorious for victimizing gay people in Lagos. His story had been brought to me a few times last year, but there just wasn't enough substance to talk about it. But now it's been said that he might be linked to the gruesome murder of a young man that we have talked about on True Crime Daniel here. This young man that we talked about sometime early this year in February, Dave Gilbert. Now, according to Keto Diaries, a page that is focused on the queer community in Nigeria, Emmanuel, the suspect, he said to go on dating apps to meet boys and lure them or he goes to visit them most likely sleep with them before robbing them or blackmailing them with pictures or videos. There was even a video of him when he was caught in the process of ransacking a guy that he had gone to visit. You came to rob us in our own house. You came to rob us. You came to rob us. But the video is as old as early this year, I guess, or even last year. So pretty much he's the one going to visit these people. And after doing whatever he was supposed to do, he attacks, steals, beats, and victimizes them. However, his victimizing scheme soon caught up with him when a group of boys pretty much gave him a taste of his own medicine. And this was how they were able to set him up and arrest him. Although the story is not very clear as at this point, it was said that Emmanuel had gone to one of his victims' job to harass and embarrass him. I guess that is his method of victimizing too. Maybe he had blackmailed the guy and um, the guy did not meet up to his own end of the bargain. So he showed up at the guy's job and embarrassed him in front of his co-workers and employers. The said victim eventually lost his job and decided that he was going to most likely get back at him. And that was how some of his friends decided to use themselves as bait. After all, all he does is go to visit his victims. It's not like he has a place where he brings the victims to, unless maybe he does, but he's mostly known to go and visit his victims. So the friend of the victim who lost his job used himself and invited him over. So he pretty much thought that he was going to his next victim's place, not knowing that he was the victim this time. The moment he showed up, they all ganged up on him, jumped on him, and began beating him up, attempting to search his bags for weapons, and he was holding on to that bag tightly. It's almost like there was really something there that he was preventing them from seeing. And some of the people who ganged up on him were people who he had also victimized in the past. And throughout the whole time he was being beaten, someone said that he was the one who killed Dave. Now, a lot of people may not even know who Dave is, but the thing is, this Dave that has been mentioned here in this video was somebody we had talked about on our page earlier this year. It's just so unfortunate that none of the videos that I made regarding this story is on any of our platforms. It turned out that basically the videos were taken down due to the gruesomeness and maybe due to the fact that it may have been perceived as homophobic. I, I'm not sure why. But this is a screenshot of me when I talked about it earlier this year to show that we had talked about the case. It was gruesome and bloody. Like his body was found by the door of his house where it was covered in blood. And we were able to deduct that whoever killed him had stabbed him by the door of his house when they were attempting to leave the house secretly with his mobile phones, gadgets, laptops, and pretty much his um, valuables, which meant that when the person was taking his things, the person was trying to run away, but he met up with the person and they put up a fight and the person stabbed him and he died. Up until this moment, nobody has been accused, nobody has been named. I even tried to do some underground investigation. The few people that were brought up were sort of smallish in a way that I did not think they would be able to beat him up or take him down. However, when this Emmanuel's case came up and he's been named as a suspect, it fits his job description, honestly. He goes to his victim's house and in the middle of the night when they're all sleeping, he picks up every valuables and then leaves and runs away. The ones he can beat, he will beat them and victimize them and threaten them and all of those beats. Which is why when he was accused of killing Dave Gilbert, it sort of makes sense. But the only problem is he had not admitted to killing Dave Gilbert. He had admitted to victimizing the community but has not admitted to killing Dave Gilbert. However, what are the chances? Now, the police have taken him away and he has been officially arrested. He might be charged with, you know, theft, assault and maybe a few other crimes. But is he going to be charged? 
with the death of Dave Gilbert. The case is still very fresh, it's unknown or it's not being said what his fate would be right now. But we are going to follow up the story to see if indeed he is really linked to the murder of this young man. So this is an update to the story. While editing, I got a new information and I would like to add it to the main video. It turns out that the reason why they are saying that Emmanuel was the one who killed Dave was because Emmanuel himself told them that he did it. In the process of victimizing or attacking one of his victims, Emmanuel had used the words to threaten them. He had told them that if they don't cooperate, if they don't behave themselves, if they don't hand in everything that they have, that they would end up like Dave, that he was the one who killed Dave. So basically, when he was victimizing a victim, he was bragging about how he killed Dave to scare them. And when the tables turned on him, that was why it was being repeated that he was the one who killed Dave. So that is where the accusation originated from, from his own mouth. Except when the tables turned on him and he was being um, beaten and uh, put on the spot, he started denying it, saying that he did not know Dave, what weapon did he use to kill Dave, acting all brand new to the uh, death of Dave situation. Another new information that was added is that he is now out of police custody. He's no longer in police custody. And there is a likelihood that he would not be charged with any crime. I am not sure because Let's be honest, for him to be fully charged, his victims would have to come out and say that they were victims, which would mean that they would have to put themselves out there on the spot. Since his targets are mostly people in the queer community, they would have to come out and tell the whole world who they are. And I don't think any of his victims want to come out and let the whole world know that they are victims of this gay hunter, which would mean that people would now know that they are gay too. And I think the lack of people coming out to say, that they want him punished will most likely prevent him from being punished but i'm not particularly sure of the semantics of how that would play out i feel that if the police can link him to the death of this young man then that is everything they need they don't have to wait for the people he stole from or he bullied this murder case is enough to send him to prison besides he has already confessed so i hope the police look into it and able to make a connection but i doubt i really doubt his family would have to push for it his siblings and people who know him or who care for him would have to be the one to push for it and if they don't this man is going to walk free and he is most likely going to continue victimizing the queer community but you guys let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about the story don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you